Say hello to the people, Phil. Odin. Because <laughs> in God of War 3, I said Zeus really loud. Yeah. But, uh, now it's Odin. No. No, I, I, I do dumb shit. I thought you were going to hit the boy. I, I thought you were going to hit the that's, hard boy. That, that would have been better. That would have been better. We're already going. <laughs> and we're already, so we're already on it. Too late. Uh, boy! <laughs> Welcome back to After the Hype. Our review show for games we play on Hype, H-Y-E-P, have you ever played, over on twitch.tv slash 2 games, where me and Phil, me, oh. I'm Tavin, by the way, hello, uh, me and Phil sit down and we show each other video games the other has never played That's our before. show. For example, we started it off with some Metal Gear Solid, Phil had never Kingdom played it before. Hearts. He went through it, and then we matched that right off, me first time playing Kingdom Hearts, but this last Kingdom week Hearts slash month, guiding key. month and a half, it took like two months to get through this game. It was, like, we, it was like six weeks. Yeah, yeah, we had to, well, it was six weeks of recording, and then we kept, we had to put it on pause, and come back, and you know, yep. et cetera, et cetera. And even then, even then, uh, I played in my free time, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, off just stream. a little bit. It's a big game. Yeah. It's a big game, but we played... Some 2018 God, God of, of War. War. God of War 4, some people call it. But God of War. God it. of 4. Do a God of 4. Now, Phil. Yeah. You played God of War 3. Give us a quick uh, 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 recap on how you felt on, on the old God of War 3. We played it for context for this game. Oh, oh. Compared to God of War 3? Like, okay, so, all right, so Kratos. How you felt on that one? Oh, I was like, this is very mid. This is very, like, oh. this is very much how... <laughs> I would have liked this game when I was a kid. Yeah. Teenager, maybe. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. Not not, not so much in your mid-20s. Not really for me. All right. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a 23-year-old man, almost 24. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, for comparison's sake, when I got my notes here. You yeah. know, I like my quick facts. Yeah. God of War 3, March 16th, 2010. Sold about 5.2 million copies. Uh, Metacritic, Metacritic of 92. We played the remastered version uh, for PS4. We played it on a PS5. Um, not that that matters. This is for God of War 3. That's say. for God of War 3. God of War 2018 came out April 20th, 2018, obviously. 19.5 million copies, which to date is the highest selling game we've played, we've on, played on, on this high, show. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the, it's the, not the newest by only a year. Cause yeah. we played Resident we, Evil. We did do some Resident Evil 2. We did do some Resident but it's, it's, it's definitely one of the more recent games that we've played. Yes. Um, and a Metacritic of 94. Now. Phil. What was the Metacritic for God of War 3? God of War 3 was a 92. Different time. Different era. PS2. That game's a 92? PS3. PS3. It was a PS3 game. PS3. Yeah. Early PS3. I don't think I don't think any of the God of War for PS2. No. 1 and 2. No. Huh? Yeah. No way. Absolutely they are. Huh. 1000%. Yeah, because they did an HD remaster of the first two games on PS3. I huh. played them on Vita. Well, okay. Well, you're the only person that bought a Vita. So. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, now, Phil. Let's get into it. You were bursting from... That's me. You were bursting out the... Vi- what did you think of God of War 2018, my it's, friend? It was okay. No, it was fantastic. <laughs> it's I fucking, fucking love, good, I right? love this game. Woo! Uh, what a fucking game. It was quite the journey. Quite quite the journey. It was a, it was a great time. Great, yeah. great moments were had. Great laughs. Great mm-hmm. screams. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Frustration. Great. Yeah. Uh, Mostly the good kind of frustration, though. Mostly, except for one part where you uh, you banged your head against a, a brick wall that you were not ready for. Yeah, for like forty minutes. <laughs> yeah, but overall, we had a great time with this game. Oh yeah, we had a phenomenal time with this mm-hmm, game. Mm-hmm. Something I'd even say. Uh, let's go ahead and break down what were what were some of your what were the highlights of God of War twenty eighteen for you, my friend? Okay, highlights. Uh, you got fucking blades. Blades. Okay. <laughs> uh, the blades of Chaos, as yeah. they say. Of, of Chaos, yeah. yeah that is Chaos, a way yeah. to pronounce that word. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, I was like, and then like the first, I don't know, we did like the first whole session, right? Before we even got it. Oh, yeah. Blades came in session three. No I think. way. Yeah, no, three? yeah. No, yeah, because I, 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 I took you off of the story path Damn. halfway through session two because I was like, ooh, we're, we're, we're not going to hit. I, I was worried about where we were going to land. Um, we did we did the first uh, 2018, like the first two 2018, God of War 2018 streams from my apartment, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, and then I believe we went out. Yeah, it was for narrative narrative uh, purposes. So before, full spoilers, by the way, obviously. <laughs> yeah, for a game so that's like, almost four years old. Yeah, yeah, so where we were in the story, uh, me and Connor were about to head off to Florida for two weeks. Mm. And I didn't want you to lose narrative momentum. And from the moment Atreus gets sick 
and collapses to the end of the game is you need that moment. and having a two week break in anywhere in there uh would have would have killed any narrative attachment that I, I felt would have killed any narrative mm. attachment you had. So it was better to like have it earlier before that in the first quarter to half of the game and then put you on pause and then we'll we'll come back and have the full all the way to the end. Week week week. So let, let let let's let's get into let's talk about let's talk about some story, all right? Because this 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 game uh, has much more narrative focus than the original trilogy. Yes. Um. Uh, and takes Kratos and uh the, his surrounding cast a lot more seriously uh, as characters than the, right, the original. So trilogy. so let, let's let's go back to the end of God of War three. Yeah. Previously. Yeah. yeah God yeah. of War, and we have uh what are, he stabs himself with the sword. Yeah. And then releases hope yep. to, to everybody. Yep. They now have hope. Hope. Yeah. So this is a Kingdom Hearts ending. <laughs> uh, literally, because in the first Kingdom Hearts, Thor stabs himself with the fucking keyblade. Oh, you're right. Yeah. He anyway, does do that. he does do that. Anyway, uh, Kingdom Hearts aside. Yeah. Uh, fucking, he's on the ground. Yeah. Athena's like, you dumb asshole. And then he runs, and then she goes, yeah, takes she off. Leaves. And then we cut back. World, world falling apart. Yeah, we look at the world falling apart. I, I believe there's some credits happening. And then we look back at to where Kratos was. And yeah, there's, gone. A post, there's a post credit scene where he, he, uh, and he, there's like a blood trail to the side of the mountain. And he's and he, gone. Yeah, he's gone. Where did he he go? went to Norway. He went to Norway. <laughs> so um, yeah, here we are, 2018. Yeah. And then, and then, and then we cut back and yeah. he's, Big Kratos with a beard now, and yeah, he's chopping down a tree. Yeah, he is. You don't know why? He seems very, very sad. Yeah. Very sad. It's the first time Kratos ever showed sadness. I don't yeah. know if that's true. <laughs> it's, it's not uh, true, first of all. I know they're... Or, snowy. Very snowy. Yeah. Very snowy. Yeah, so 2018, Norse mythology as opposed to the Greeks. Yes. Kratos, New pan- Greek. New Pantheon new to pantheon. kill. New Pantheon. Same, same Kratos. Same guy. Just, you know. Is he the same guy, he, though? He went, he went on a little travel. No, he's the same guy. He's the same. He might be the same physical guy, but he's not the same guy, Tavin. He's not. Oh, the same he's guy. changed. He's a father. He's a father now. I mean, he was a father before. Yeah, but his, you know, his, this, this child's alive. This one's alive. This, this one. One's... This one's still alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and this one imbued with the power. He's of not God. covered in his ashes yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> no Jesus, probably will never be. This... No, he's not even covered with his with his with his other wife's ashes. Ashes. No, he's not. He carry, carries that little carries on his a, belt. In a little satchel. On his belt. Yeah, it was great. A little, little sack. Yeah. So, we're here. Why don't you Traders, carry my sack? He had a, I try. You keep you keep smacking my hands away. Well, it's not my um, hands. It's Ashley's hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we open up. Kratos. He's uh, preparing a, uh, a, a, a... What do they call it? A pyre? Or a, a, pyre? A pyre? Uh, or a, uh, a, 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 a cremation. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to carry cremate. cremation for his, yeah, yeah, for yeah, his yeah, wife. Yeah. Who chopping down, ch- like chopping down some specific trees. Yeah, they had golden handprints. Yeah, yeah. Because they wondering. were marked by her. Yeah, you might be wondering why are they? Why are these trees so special? Oh, p- protective oh, and smell, then, protective dome. Oh, chop weird, down the trees. weird. And then uh, skip twenty four to thirty hours later, we see a handprint on the mountain that we're yeah. climbing. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was all part of the plan. I know, so. but literally, there's no other handprints anywhere else between there. Nah, they were all at home, and then they're over at Jotunheim. Yeah. So, anyways, end of the beginning of the game, end of the game, and then we've Full got circle. We've got a boy. He's young. He's figuring it out. No, he's figuring Tavin, out who Tavin, he is. Tavin, Tavin, yeah. you pronounced it incorrectly. Oh, here we go. It's not he. We don't have a boy. Yeah, we have a boy. Boy. <laughs> anyways, this boy. He's a trace. Yeah, he is. A, that is a trace. Probably I don't know, twelve years old, somewhere around there. We learn a trace is named. After a little uh, a, a friend that Kratos had yeah. in, in, the, in the Spartan military. Yeah. Now, there was a critique when this game came out and that story came out. That character, that story, never seen in the old games. No. But there are characters that meant something to Kratos. Other Spartan characters that meant something to Kratos. In that, the first God of War, right? Uh, I I think it happens in 2. Does it happen in 2? Yeah. Where he oh, because fight, they die in the first game. It's like silhouetted. No, there's like a silhouette fight that you have where it's on like a 2d plane and you're fighting this this soldier dude you don't know who it is and then you kill him and then you kill him by like bursting through the darkness or whatever and then you you look down and it's and it's your old war buddy and he goes no anyways so but you idiot and everyone is it, it might be that <laughs> um Ooh. and everyone is like why didn't you name him after that guy and core barlog was like because that's a sad story and yeah. atreus is a happy story so we wanted it to be as, as rooted in happiness that was said like i love i love so this is like jumping to like towards the end of the game yeah uh but i love that atreus is like wow you finally told a good story what a great what a great like callback and great certain narrative circle to like to come back and f- fully complete and that that's what i think the 
the general plot of this game is tight. Super simple. Oh, yeah. Super simple. And it's very much... Literally, it's, it's just... It's like three or four moments of your take, princess is in another take castle. Take dead mom yeah. to the top of the highest peak yeah. in the nine, nine realms. And then you get you get you get to the biggest mountain you know of in Midgard. And everybody's like, "This is kind of early, right? Like, I don't feel like we're at the end of the game yet." Yep. And you, I think even you were like, "Are we? Are we about to be done?" And I was like, "No, no, you're not about to be done, my friend." Because <laughs> we we still didn't have the blades. We yeah. just have the axe. Nah, nah. But you and it was great because the whole time through the the blades are so well hidden. Nobody knew about them. They weren't in the market. Yeah, I was they like, weren't. it's just bold to just get rid of like the signature weapon. Yeah, and the whole time you were like, you, the whole time you're like, I like this axe. I do miss the blades. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, but you know, you do have the fists to counteract. The fists are fun too. You like the fists? Yeah. Some, there are some enemies where you can only use the fists. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> but then, but then, because they're ice. Yeah. And the axe does ice. Uh-huh. You can't hit them with the can't ice. Hit, can't hit the ice guys. So with you the had ice to weapon. punch them. But yeah. then, but then you get the fire weapon. We get fire. Yeah. And what makes baby. fire? The Blades. The blades do, yeah. And what a moment. What a moment. Yep. And it's treated, cr- like, tonally, it's treated correctly. It's not like, oh, we just need a weapon upgrade for the sake yeah, of weapon upgrade. Yeah, it's really okay. Uh, fuck, it's I a, have to go back. Yes. It's, I, that, it's that classic... My past is back to haunt me. It's that classic shit where, like, you have, like, an old uh, war hero. And yeah. it's, like, a movie about him. And it's like, yeah. I haven't heard that name in 20 years. It's it's very much... It's like uh, uh, Godfather 3. You know, every time I'm out. They, every time they I think I'm out, back they pull in. me back in. Oh. Uh, Oh, and it's I done. think I think of the fucking it's like an old old a veteran in like a yeah. cabin, and it's yeah. like, sir, we need you. The president's in danger. <laughs> he goes, oh. he's like, Mister Mister Jackson or whatever. He goes, yeah, yeah, Jackson. I, I haven't heard that name in a long time. <laughs> um, and and Athena comes by to talk some shit. And but she didn't say anything. No, she does say stuff. Remember, she? She, go, she, go, she goes, you know, uh, she has this whole monologue of pretend, oh, pretend to be whatever you want to be. Pretend right, 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 right. Pretend he's you're a boat. husband. Pretend you're a father. Pretend you're the... That you're was before always, he even got the blades. You're, it's as he's putting them on. Uh, no, 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 I was... So he's in the boat. Oh, uh, uh, I don't think Athena says anything in the boat. No, she doesn't say anything in the boat. And he goes, Athena, get out of my mind, because Athena is there. Mm-hmm. She's there. But, you know. Oh, so good. It's done. It's just... And he's, he's got he's got his arms be. all wrapped up in in, in the bandages, in the bandages. and then he wraps around. He, like, yeah. it's, it's he, so deliberate. He hides how it he's from like, Atreus. The whole story, goes, everything is hidden. Atreus doesn't know anything. Oh, it's so how good. slowly he puts the yes. mask on because it's so deliberate and heavy. Intention. Like, you, you feel the weight. You feel the intention in every moment of this game, from oh, yeah. the heavy story moments to just the general gameplay to the exploration. It's all like there, and um. To kind of fade away from the story, which we're just nerding over all the all of our favorite moments real quick. Which what an ending, by the way. Oh yeah. Um, uh, you feel that intention in the in the general gameplay and just the structure of gameplay too, because it starts out much like much like the original trilogy, very linear. The <clears throat> camera's different, more of like a Last of Us feel to it. Yeah, it's very um, much like Kratos. Kratos, can you can you can you step forward like five feet? Yeah, <laughs> you take up a third of the screen, bro. Please, like please, cameraman, cameraman, you're, you're crowding Kratos. You're step a big, up. you're a big boy. He's back a big boy. There's a lot of bad guys here. <laughs> um, but and it but starts it starts very linear, and then they very slowly start opening you up just a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. Um. And then all of a sudden, you're it's damn near. It's very close to an open world game. It's the closest thing to an it's open a pretty world big game map we've, too. we've had, and fairly big map. Uh, and it's not just one map. You're like you go to other worlds. Yeah, and, and you gotta you, and it's you having to go there. They do the the one take camera, like mm-hmm. or as one take as a video game camera can be, where they they try their best not to break it uh, at all. There are some cheats that'll be like yeah, Kratos high loading will, screens here and there. Yeah, Kratos will walk through. A big white door, and then the screen will all flash white, and then you're like, all right, well, clearly there's a cut there for a quick load, or like... Uh, oh, yeah, I near- watched 1917. I saw that yeah. cut. <laughs> or like uh, uh, at the end of the game when the when the, when when uh, Freya takes over the giant, and yep. then uh, it, pick, it, picks, it picks you up, and the whole screen goes black, and I'm like, that's a cut. You guys are lying. <laughs> uh, but for the most part, moment to moment, never cuts. No, no cutting away from gameplay. You have another one of those, those cuts when you enter the world serpent, too, like where it's all just dark? You have one of those, too. When you go into it, it's all it's it's all one because you're doing it. It's you doing it. But when you leave, there's a there's a cut. Oh, okay. When you leave, there's a cut because they they flash it white and they make it all sil- they do mm. a, a silhouette thing. And I'm like, yeah, you, you guys are cheating there. But you know, uh, and then I, I I had heard in interviews they wanted the the whole UI system to be involved in that too. So like instead of pulling up the menu screen for your skills and for your things or whatever, uh, he, Kratos would have just like looked at the axe or something and put the enchantments in himself or whatever. But 
uh, I think that proved to be too much. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, ah, oh, we don't know how to do this in the yeah. time allotted. Um, the minis weren't bad. The only complaint I had about any of this shit was the map. Oh, the map is awful. Terrible map. One of the worst maps in video games. Visually, in great. Opinion. Oh, great. I want that poster. But informative, you know? it is not. No. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how to get where I'm going. It, it, ugh. Ugh. Now, Phil, we, we, I mentioned it when we had made, made it a certain distance through, through this game. Is this a game you feel you'll want to revisit? Maybe do another playthrough? Maybe go back and just you know, mm. knock out, knock out? I could out. new game plus it. You, knew, you could new game plus it? You yeah. Could? Uh, maybe just go back, knock out some of those uh, last trophies you've got going on. You, yeah. you, you want to go knock out the last? You have like twenty something ravens left, or could maybe do. a little less yeah. than that. Could you know, do. You, do you have intentions for that? Though? Yeah, I can yeah? do that. Yeah, you could do that. I'm just throwing it out there. Just, you know, it's a good platinum to have. I'm very happy with my platinum. <laughs> uh, I think we even mentioned near the end, or when we were finishing, I was like, this is the game that like if they put out a PS5, a full PS5 version of this game. I'm not just popping the trophies. I'm no, playing I'm not. It again. I'm playing it all the way through. Yeah. Regardless, even though I just did a second playthrough. A few months ago, in preparation for this series, I'm absolutely starting from scratch and building my my character all the way up, and then maybe even after that, I'll do a new game plus on Give Me God of War difficulty, which is fucking hard. Uh, um, I'm so glad there's no difficulties tied to tied to. Oh, oh sorry, no, uh, no trophies tied to it. No, difficulty. I, I, that that's more or less a dying thing. I feel. I, I see so. it less and less. Like I hope so. I, I see it less. And, I mean, it still exists. They're still there. I think Spider Man had some. No, I could be uh, wrong. No, I don't think so. No, I think it, that was, was the DLC a... trophies. That was a DLC yeah, yeah. trophy that they did because they added a, an extra hard difficulty, yeah. which still wasn't that hard. Um, you had ultimate, and then what was the last one? I think it was. I think it launched with spectacular, and then ultimate came later. I think ultimate is the final version. Huh? Okay, I could be wrong, but you know. I thought ultimate was on the screen. Well, I think you had to finish the game before you could play it as ultimate. It, it was a thing that came later with New Game Plus, because oh, New okay. Game Plus didn't launch it at uh, on launch with Spider-Man, along with God of War. God of War uh, also didn't launch with New Game Plus, came later. Mm. Um, Interesting that it gave me the prompt to do it then. Yeah. Because a lot of times it's like you have to go back to the menu and then you'll get the CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the, directly at the end of the game, it was, it was like, like, hey, hey you, you want to do, do New this? Game Plus? Yeah, you can go do it again. You can play the game again? Uh, it, hap- it happens every once in a while. I think Mass Effect 2 and 3 do that. Where they say, "Hey man, you can reload as soon as you like the credits roll and you cut yeah. back to your captain." Like, hey that's, man, you can just reload. That's like does do that. Yeah. Re-roll I think the same all th- I think all three of them do. I don't know about one because one one credits and then shoots you back to the menu. It mm-hmm. doesn't put you back on the Normandy like two and three do. Hmm. Um. Anyways, God of War. Um. Let's talk about this gameplay, buddy. It's a little different this time, though. Uh, I mean, it's getting kind of nitty gritty. You got your your hack and slash. You got it, your, it is, uh... but it feels much more intentional this time. It's it, not, you're it's, just not just doing it mindlessly. Yeah. It's it's less spectacle. It's more combo. It, like the combos were there in the last game, but it was just kind of there to add some flash. Yeah. Um, this time it's like you have to do a certain thing in order to. Yeah, kill you have to think. You have each to. Enemy, yeah. You know, relative like think on your feet and and uh, stick with it. And you know, some moves work better than others on certain enemy types, especially against bosses. Yeah, 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 yeah. For certain. Uh, it, and then you know you have Atreus over there in the corner shooting arrows, throwing out summons and stuff. Yep. Uh, you got to use him in the right ways. I mean, with the Treyas, as far as like the arrows go, like uh, with the stun arrow, or whatever. Yeah. I basically, as soon as I had them, I would just use them immediately. Uh, like I found myself just just it's, pounding the square button it, it more is, than anything else. For for a lot of it, that works. Uh, there are certain moments in the game where it's like, uh, I want him to unleash all of it now, or I want him to slowly pace it. It's more of just like mm-hmm. a pace of how do you want him to do it? Because like. Usually, at least for the higher tier enemies, mm-hmm. like just spamming all four or five arrows or whatever isn't going to get them there. But if you just if you just pace the shots a little bit, and they also have the the small mechanic of he's more accurate and they do more damage mm. if you pace them out. Oh, like, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it's something they say very early on. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what I would do, I kind of uh, for a little bit, I was doing the shock one, the shock arrows. Yeah. But then I, I grew very attached to the stun arrows. Yeah. Or, like the the blue ones. Yeah. In my first playthrough, I was the opposite. Whereas as soon as I had the shock, that's what I would do because it you know it's it stops it, them it and they, they sit there and they get electric and then it each hits other, multiple yeah, multiple arcs other 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 enemies. But yeah, that stun just being able to just being able to you know get that stun break and immediately in so wipe them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. It's, it's also when I got the upgrade where like. Uh, it would hit them once, and then after it wait a couple seconds, then it would hit them again. Yeah, yeah, and just just um, put a little more of that status, that weakened mm-hmm. status effect on them, and then uh, yep. uh, uh, get that, that little that extra stun meter built up a little more. Yeah, stun yeah. meter up. Yep, all that good all stuff. that good stuff. Uh, I like a trace. I like yep. a trace a I lot like in this game. Right, yeah. He doesn't get in the way. He, he's 
becomes know, a little fucking prick. He does uh, become a little around, fucking prick. Around midway. Right. Maybe a little, little more than midway. But for mostly believable reasons, like, you get, you get, you're like, alright, this is your little, your, this is your little fuck you phase, you know? Everybody has it. We yep. all know. It is. I feel like we're gonna get more fuck you phase in the next game. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. More I mean, it just depends. Going on. I think I think Atreus is playable in the next game. Mm. Um, but oh, maybe Kratos at some point gets like put out of commission. You got to play as Atreus. Maybe some. Who knows? We got that little that little imagery at the wall at the end of this game where you're like, oh, looks like uh, looks like the World Serpent's gonna take Kratos out. Ooh. And then uh, and then who knows? Now we maybe, don't get we, maybe we uh this this game quite open. You do visit multiple realms. You multiple s- times, mostly in Midgard, but you do visit multiple things. You go, you know, you go to the, you go to the uh, Alfheim. We're we, we going to talk about different worlds now. Yeah, let's talk about some different worlds. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, so we do some Alfheim. Alfheim is strictly tied to like the story. Progression, yeah, it's though. just a story progression. There is a couple of side things you can do in there. There's a Valkyrie. There's some. Uh, I I think the, the real talk about the other worlds uh-huh. we should talk about uh-huh. is Muspelheim and, and Niflheim. You just want to jump straight into that and let's fucking do it, buddy. So you got your Muspelheim, right? Uh-huh. Let's throw it at first. Uh, fire. 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 Combat, Combat fire. trials. Fire. Uh, yeah. So we did all that. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's fine. I don't like Muswell that much. No, I like it. Eh, just, it. It feels like... I it like feels, the Combat Arena. It feels arena. like chores. To me. I like the Combat Arena. I would like it if it was... If it was... A more traditional combat arena. When you start putting like modifiers on them, that's when I'm like, oh. like when I was when I was at the fucking top of the hill taking yeah. out all those enemies, and I stopped at 69 when I tried to get to 70 to get to gold. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that was that was it was tense. Yeah, I mean, it was good. It was like okay, see that's it was less, where, it was where, less... where it's kill as many as possible in a certain thing. I'm like, okay, cool, fine. If when it's when it's do a whole hundred, kill a hundred, okay, easy, not a problem. When it's kill enemies inside the gold rings, fuck off, leave me alone. When it's uh, finish the wave without getting hit, oh, this those is just are, annoying. Those are fucking when it's, stressful. Um, uh, it, it, enemies regain their health super fast. I I don't mind that Which at all. It's fine when you because when, you just focus stun. on getting the stun yeah. meters up. But it that eh eh just let me play the game. Uh, <laughs> I feel when when it's at the top like that. It's at the, what I was talking about with like the big arena kill as many as possible. Right? Yeah. It's less me being stressed about like me being in danger it's more me being stressed about, like oh shit am i gonna be able to kill this this person this fast yeah am i gonna be able to beat the timer am one of gonna... the harder valkyries in that in that realm too eh. in the muspelheim one one that hard this is the only one that brings down the fire on you uh, except uh, for the queen of course yeah. but yeah you know she starts and it uh hard. one of the i think it's the only one that like shoots up into the air and then like lands on you and just other than st- other I think, than the top yeah, one other yeah. than the other than the queen i think she's no, the no, no. no 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 uh the one that was going like Fall Hala, Fall Hala. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Her, 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 the other her, one her, that right. was like sweeping across. It's the, the only other one that swept across like that, though. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Valkyries are great. I like. Them. Yeah, it was awesome. great. But where I think a lot of the meat comes from in this game with the side content and where uh, where it just propels this game into another echelon. There's a whole ass roguelike in this game, Tavin. Just kind of there. You don't have to touch it. You don't need it. It's called Niflheim. You, you could potentially never play it <laughs> because the story the realm ne- of fog. The story never directs you there. You it's you have to go you know collect the cipher, and this is for Muspelheim too. But you know it's easier to get Muspelheim than it is yeah. to get ne- uh, Niflheim. And then like even then like if you're not a high enough level for Niflheim, you'll just get your ass kicked immediately. Exactly. Yeah. Like you have to you have to grind just to get there, mm-hmm. and then it's the whole fucking thing. And then, even on top of that, like, but if you don't play it, you're not beating that fucking Valkyrie Queen. Hell no. No, no way. No, 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 no. You're just not doing enough damage for the amount you need that shit. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like, I feel like just going to, uh, not most time, going to Nibelheim and getting that armor set. It's just like, to build for that fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, just to fully, up, like, not, not even fully upgrade it, like, even upgrade it, like, once. Like, yeah. you need to in order to kill that Valkyrie Queen. <sighs> but it's so good. I feel it? like you need to be at least, like, level seven. To beat that uh, I believe that's the yeah. I believe that's the one where like all the internet things are like, hey man, yeah, this is. I mean, you're still gonna have a tough time, but you should probably be here at least. You should be at least yeah level seven. That's if you're a fucking god gamer. Yeah, yeah. Which we all know I am, but I leveled up anyway. To be fair, I think on Give Me God of War, like even if you're fully upgraded, like she takes you out in like two hits. Yeah. Um. So, I so at some point it is just a number. Uh, it's just a level of like. All right, just memorize the moves and know right, how to so count her we, moves. We both love Niflheim. Yeah. But we've been talking about the Valkyrie Queen. I really want to talk about the Valkyrie Queen. Let's talk about and, and about about us, about our, our journey yeah. fighting her. Let's talk about it. Uh, so after after we inevitably kicked her ass, yeah. um, I went back and, and watched the uh, my reaction of of me yeah. killing her. Yeah? Is it good? I, I popped it. the fuck off. Yeah, you did. You um, were like, ah! 
I'm, I'm actually so so getting the Valkyries and going through all that stuff is just really cool. I just I really enjoyed uh, going through and killing each one. Like uh, mm-hmm. you have to get that chisel thing, yeah, in order yeah, to yeah. Un- unlock like the, you get the doorway story and so forth, yeah. Uh, and you get all of their like heads, right? Their helms, their yeah, their their oh yeah, helmets, their helmets, their helmets, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, you just put them all on the chairs mm-hmm. in the in the in the main area. Which going through you you going through it more naturally. Mm-hmm. You we had you like take a pause on the Valkyries and we kind of just finished out the story. Which I think some people did that way. I believe I did it in a way of like, uh, you get that first one kind of naturally. Uh, cause it's just mm-hmm. kind of like right there to the right. You can skip it if you want, but it's right there to the right. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you get the chisel and it, it's, it's we at really, the perfect We really only did that, that one on stream originally. Uh, uh, we did it one in that moment and then we finished up the story and went back and did the other nine or the other eight. No, I'm saying, I'm saying that first time we got them, like when, and when we saw them, uh, cause then we, I tried to challenge another one and I was like, okay, well this is, this is too hard. Let's come back to it. Yeah. And yeah, you could have beaten that one. It yeah, just would have like, taken time and we were time. up against the clock exactly. and I wanted to hit a certain yeah, yeah, yeah. Narr- narrative moment. So Tavin, uh, oh, he's playing it in his phone. Yes. There we fucking Let's go. Let's fucking go. Fuck. You know, I, I edit these to the footage. I could have just clicked. Cut I know, but I like it. I like it, dude. I wanted to watch it again. I wanted to watch it again. You can cut that out if you want, but I like it. I'm probably going to cut it out and just put the, All right. put the real thing. Do it, in. yeah. God, it's um, such a good moment. Such it's, a good moment. It's really great, man. You feel great. I think I spent two days on the Valkyrie Queen. It was like a thing where it was like I started the fight. took me... It took uh, me, what, like an hour? Somewhere around there. About an hour, like, yeah. Maybe a little less. An hour and some change, probably. Um... And then it's it was, it was just a moment where like I started it got like twenty minutes in had to stop go do something else came back the next day, uh and and uh and finished it out but it's, it's good just shit. yeah man it's fucking it's good shit it's fucking good man uh and it's the perfect level of chat like every time you're like I know I can do it I know I can do it I yeah. know I can do it I know exactly it's, just, it's it's the moment of fuck she did that move and I I know what that that she did that pre animation of like okay I know what that does but I didn't react to it in time or I didn't react to it properly and I didn't do this I also I made you proud Tavin. You started parrying. Yeah. I made, I made <laughs> Fucking you, hell. I made you proud. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this, Phil spent the entire journey fucking parried maybe twice yeah. maybe twice never learned to fucking parry who needs it he kept, he kept doing the thing where he mashed the button too much and then he would shield break he kept no, shield no I like my dodges okay yeah but the dodges don't do it every time I like my the friend. dodges they don't do it all the time and that's why when on day two or three or whatever fucking day it was I think it was two uh, where you got stuck on those wolvers the dodges aren't gonna save you from the wolvers they would barely ever do the yellow attacks they would only ever do red ones that's, that I can't fucking hit that's because you were under leveled and you shouldn't have been doing that and I kept telling you to, to walk away and come back but you, you were stuck I kept telling you, I said, man, we should really do this later. You shouldn't, you, you know, I'm like, okay. Ah, sure. uh, poo on you. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, oh, my God. And we could just talk about all the small things that are in this game. All you know, the all small the, things. Uh, all the, like, they explore Norse mythology in a lot of cool and creative and refreshing ways. And they have to do it in, in different ways because yes. a certain character is not involved in any of the stories. No, when he should be. When he should be. <laughs> no, it's even so much of, like... Um, Odin in the myth, myth, if I have this correctly, Odin hunts wolves or werewolves in the myth or something like that, and that that's where he targets. But uh, because the wolves are so tied in with Loki, um, and Loki is uh removed from this story, Odin believes the prophecy, the fall of uh Valhalla or whatever, is gonna be because of the giants. Mm. So he attacks the giants instead, and that's why there's no giants, and that's why Jotunheim is a graveyard. Yeah. So it's like the the whole all of it's different. It's just uh, you know kind of twisted and stuff. Some of the you know there's still the stories there that connect, but like if you know your shit, um, and I only know this because someone who knew their shit pointed it out on in a YouTube. There's a great YouTube video essay that I'll show. You. I I'll, can't have to, I'll have to check it out. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'll look it up. Yeah. Um. The, this is what it is: the Untangling God of War, uh, by the channel Good Blood. Okay. The Untangling God of War. Yeah, it's a 36 minute video. A great video. Phenomenal video. Great uh, editing and uh, uh, graphics, all, all that stuff. Great graphic design. But it's not that. Like, it's not like this character doesn't exist at all. Just no. wasn't wasn't in in really he's in the not, pantheon. He's just not there yet, you know. But he's coming. He's coming. It's Loki. It's Loki, baby. Young young Atreus himself is Loki, the because, trickster god. Because Kratos fucked a giant. Yeah. <laughs> and Kratos, you know, 
out here just making everything making everything uh awkward making everything uncomfortable making you know fucking it all up because he came out and he was like hey man i'm here big dick swinging man this game pretty isn't it pretty ass game very very pretty game pretty ass game man mm-hmm. uh the only thing that ever bothers me visually is how the water moves i don't <laughs> like because it's so clearly like, like on the shore yeah it's yeah, yeah. most notable on the shore where it's so clearly like not actually connecting to the shore it's just kind of like yeah. floating it's like almost like it reminds me of like when i took the one video game design class in high school and they were like yeah man just make a water like level and then have it rise and then there there it is it's just there yeah i'm like all right that's kind of what y'all did you guys are a multi-million dollar video game development studio and yep. i've seen this done better in older games um um one thing but I, I, definitely forgivable another thing i really liked is we we're talking about like the world and like visual and like mm-hmm. all that i liked um a lot of the small like puzzle not really like puzzles but like little uh Challenges where you had to like look around your surroundings, mm, take in the environment, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, break, break the break the three rocks. Or there was ring one the three bells. God, I fucking adore this game. I really, game. really, 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 really enjoy it. I'm so excited for Ragnarok to see how they build on this. Um, I'm nervous that it'll be the the only thing that makes me nervous is that it'll be too much of the same. Mm. I don't think it will be. I think they, they've really at this point of recording they've really only released one game demo. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a great hype trailer where they give you some narrative leads of where we're going. Yep. And, and uh, they show off some new enemy types and a couple of new moves and animations and stuff. Looks like traversal is going to be increased, and we're going to be using the blades a lot more. Use the traversal. blades to like grab on the fucking yeah. ledges and shit. Um, it'd be so really I'm, cool. It'd be really cool if it's like the fucking grappling hook in Halo Infinite. Yeah, that'd be sucking. That'd be yeah. fu- sucking fucking think, sweet. I don't think it's going to be that. I think it's going to be very set points of you can you can do this one thing um, here, uh, but it would be very fucking cool. I'm more interested in what they haven't shown us yet than what mm-hmm. they have shown us. Like, sure, okay, we got the sled coming. Cool. I'm yep. sure I'll like the sled. The boat, the boat is making a return. We're getting back to the boat. How great is the boat? Like, you're, they're having fun. Not, I mean, it's, it's not like boat. great. It's not mechanically, but like, it's never like a fuck, man. I gotta use the boat. It's a, it's a. Okay, we'll just use the boat. We'll go. We'll get. We'll to use the boat. Need. We'll listen to a story. We'll listen to a story. I, I, and there's we so haven't, we haven't even talked about Mimir. Mimir, fucking phenomenal character. I love Mimir. the character. I, I think he's the he was that missing puzzle piece in the chemistry between mm. Kratos and Atreus, Atreus, and even Freya, mm. where you you just you throw Mimir in there and they add he, he adds a level of energy and a level of relatability he's, and a level of he's uh, the straight man of of the of the nine of like the fucking Norse mythology. Uh, universe, because like yeah. he he's like, oh yeah, I can tell you about this. Like, yeah, 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 but it's just it's the it's that sort of like just knowledgeable joy. It's almost like um like a uh like a like your Bill Nye the Science Guy like type thing where they're just, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He, he just, fucking... Yeah, they're just happy to that the, that they get to talk about this. And be like, oh yeah, man, you want to hear about this, dude? I'll tell I you love, all about this. My favorite Mimir moment is when they find out that he's bewitched by Freya. Yeah, and that he can't tell he can't oh, talk about their loop. weaknesses. And he, go, he goes, oh yeah, no, no, Baldur's invulnerable. What? I already told you that? Well, that's because Bono's is invulnerable. <laughs> Bono's invulnerable. He, yeah. he he's weak to neither magic nor yeah, whatever. nor physical attack. Yeah, uh, and he just he's just on that loop. It's great. Mamir's phenomenal. It's so funny. Yeah, and I think he he's really that key piece that gets. He's able to. He's able. It's 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 a cool narrative tool that they use because in the beginning. Kratos and Atreus' relationship is so strained. Mm. They don't really know each other. Kratos spends most of his time away. He, he's and... more he's more of a commander than he is a dad. Yeah. And um, Atreus, who just who's lost his mother, just wants a parent figure, has always wanted affection from his father, has never really gotten it, um, and doesn't know how to approach his father, doesn't know how mm. to open up conversations, doesn't know how to... Th- and it's in the beginning, it's a very stunted conversation of, mm-hmm. what about this? It does not matter. But, okay, fine. Uh, and that's that's how most of their conversations go uh, up until... Until Mimir. And then Mimir comes in, and Atreus uses a Mimir to open up conversation. Hey, mm. Mimir, what is this all about? And then maybe Kratos will put in his input. Shut up, head. And, and it's 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 that that level to get the ball rolling very well, very smart, very clever, very well written in that in that sense. I just I, I love the characters in this game, and I think it says something with how well written this game is. Mm-hmm. When you're in the boat, it's fucking story time, and there's a number of times everybody does it. You did it a few times on stream where it was like where it was like. Yeah, we're at our destination. We could we could dock the boat. I want to hear. I kind of want to hear the end of the I story. Hear the end of the is story. An story. It's just a story being told about some Norse mythology bullshit that you've never heard before. It's, it's story time, Tabby, and I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, and it's good stuff. It's engaging, and um, they just there's so much there's so much that they do so well here. And I I said it on stream a couple of times. I don't think this game has the most phenomenal story. I don't mm. think it has the most. I don't think it has the tightest and most phenomenal gameplay. I think it's beautiful. 
Um, but there are things that like stand out where I'm like, okay, that doesn't look as great as some of the other things that look great. Um, but it hits like in every category. Like if you were to like put points to every yep. category out of ten, it's the most like it's like it eight eight here, eight here, eight here. It, it's just across the board eights, which bring it up to a nine or a ten. Yeah, because in every other game, on average, yeah. uh, the first Last of Us story's a ten, gameplay seven. You know. Uh, 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 Spider Man. You know, stories a stories a seven and a half, eight. Fucking gameplay's a nine. Around, you know? fucking, uh, and then, but then there's Mary Jane segments, and you're like, oh, man, you got miles segments, tacked on yeah, puzzles, yeah. and you're like, oh, this fucking sucks or whatever. Um, you know, you know, that you're not confident in your in your mechanics when you have a skippable <laughs> skip. fucking puzzle. <laughs> you know, but in God of War, it's all there, and it's there for a purpose, and it's all intentional, and it's some things are just way. I remember the first day playing it. And me and Connor were playing it, you know, separately in our own homes mm-hmm. or whatever. And I remember texting him back and forth. We're not even that deep into the game. I mean, I'm still in the early moments. Like, I haven't even gotten to the Lake of the Nine for the first time. I haven't even met uh, Freya yet. Um, and I remember texting Connor and being like, yo, this is really good. And it should not be this good. <laughs> like, it is really fucking good. Um, and just the way it continues to build on itself. Dude, I remember when I got the blades, man. <laughs> Dude, to revisit that when I got the blades, I was screaming. I was so excited. I and then played naturally when as soon as you pick them up, they spawn a bunch of fucking enemies around yeah, man. you. So you can they fucking... go, oh, you're gonna use these su- yeah. these suckers right here, and it they feel right. Like yeah. the the gameplay mechanics are different. It's still like kind of hack and slashy, but like it feels right. You're like, okay, this is what the blades should feel like in yep. this game, and it's exactly what they should they are. Ah, oh, so good. It's, yeah, it is what it is. Phil, yeah. Any other last little moments we want to talk about God of War? We want to nerd out about. We want to um, enjoy. No, I you think... enjoyed quite a bit of the Norse, the smaller Norse stuff. The, I did. Uh, the dragon, was... the dragon dude. Yep. What's his name? Uh, uh, you got uh, Fafnir. 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 Yeah, Fafnir. Yeah, Fafnir. yeah, he's he's a dwarf Fafnir. that turns into a dragon. Yeah, you enjoyed all that. Uh, oh, the story of the, the dwarf brothers is nice. Oh, yeah, Brock and Sindri. Good, yeah. good little arc there. Where you're like, oh, man, fuck my brother. And at the end, they're like, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's put our seal together. Yeah, it's good. It's good moments. Just everything gets paid off in the right ways here. Brock is a is a brash blue dwarf, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. Sindri is a fucking coward who gags and <laughs> throws up at everything. A little bit of a germaphobe. Yep. Uh, I remember early on you were like, I can't wait to fight, you know, big three, Odin, Loki, Thor. You don't do any of that in this game. Nope. You know, not not even a little bit. Are we going to fight some Thor? Probably going to fight some Thor. Are we going to kill Thor? Who knows? Are we going to meet Odin? Who knows? Well, big bad in the next game is going to be fucking Freya. Oh, for sure. For sure. She's, the, she's definitely going to be your... Um, I, I don't your think she's gonna mechanically work this way, but she's gonna be like your your Mister X or your your nemesis, where like she's gonna mm. be constantly hunting you throughout the entire thing. I have a better example from uh, the the second Prince of Persia game, where mm. it's like set moments where there's this character that comes in and fucks with you. Um, but I can't, you, you haven't played that, so I can't pull that. And also, that's a bit of a niche pull. But I think she'll she'll be coming in. And it'll be we're gonna fight her for a little bit. I assume she's gonna be way tougher than fucking maybe maybe like the Emmys from uh, Metroid Dread. <sighs> Maybe, but I I think it's going to be more narrative focused. So like they mm-hmm. don't want you to lose. Anyways, uh, Phil, anything else you wanted to? I cut you off. Anything else you wanted to mention about God of War twenty eighteen? No, I don't, I don't think so. No. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be just about it. But if you've listened to any one of these before, you know we <sighs> like to put little. Ooh, this is one of our longer ones. Would you, you like to do scores? We like to do. Uh, we like to do just a little little scores at the end here. Yep. I'll let you go first, Kevin. Me go first. Yep. God of War 2018 is an interesting one for me um, in terms of scoring because, it, as I mentioned before, it hits so hard on every note. However, um, anybody who knows me, replayability is a big thing for me. Mm-hmm. I don't think this game is the most replayable game in the world. Not really. No. Definitely a new game possible, but, you know. Yeah, one, maybe two more times, but you're not going to, like, back-to-back play through these games no. ever again. Like, I've I'm played, not going to start a fresh, a for, fresh for, file. For, for example, Spider-Man came out the same year. I've played that game like ten times. Yeah, <laughs> in the in the seven to ten times somewhere around there in the yep. four years that it's been out. Um, God of War I played twice, and even the second time I kind of just mainlined the story. I didn't like do all the side stuff. So, but every time I pick up the controller and then put my hands on the thing, I go, man, this game's fucking great. So for me, God of War twenty eighteen hits an eight and a half for me. I think it's got a great story, not a phenomenal story, but a great story. Um, really, really great gameplay. Uh, really great, just everything across the board, man. Yep. It just fucking nails it, man. Yep. And every time I, it's one of those games that I always go back to, and I'm like, man, let me watch a let me watch a reaction compilation to the blades, you know. Uh, let me let me get a let me get a 
Norse mythology breakdown and how this game interprets yep. Norse mythology, yep, yep, yep. you know? Let me uh, let me revisit this moment or that moment or something. But yeah, for me, it just it it's one of my favorite games of all time. But it it doesn't hit that next echelon for me personally, even though everything around it is so fucking good. Yes, yes. Phil, uh, I am hitting God of War twenty eighteen mm-hmm. with a nine. Nine, solid nine. There we go, baby. Now let me look. Let me look through. This would be your third nine. Third nine. This is your third nine mm-hmm. uh, uh, in, in our list. We, uh, we, uh, I went through and I finally wrote down all of our, all of our numbers uh, for this, which we will talk about next week. And yep. we'll, we'll, we'll show you all of our scores. Some of them have been revised um, yes. just because, you know, we, we were given time to marinate on games and so forth. So maybe the score has changed or something. But next week, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to do our top five hype games for the first year of hype. So please come join us next week. We're going to just kind of list them all off and have a good time. You know, take a nice little trip down memory lane. Yeah. You know, of some of our some of our favorite moments on stream and things that we've done and so forth. Uh, and then from there, we'll have the full list of things just kind of shown, just kind of laid out uh, in a way that's uh, uh, legible. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for your After the Hype review of God of War 2018. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, you can catch us live uh, twitch.tv slash 2 games every Tuesday at about 2 p.m. And then we go to, I don't know, 7 or 8, somewhere around there. We try to hit a good six-hour stream. Yep. Um, going through. So, uh, Phil. Yeah. As you know, it is my turn to play. It is. It is. Uh, what are we playing this next week? I believe friend? I said we're playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. That, that, is, that is what we left off on stream last week, and that's what we are going to jump into. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. Come see us live, twitch.tv slash 2 games uh, Tuesday, 2 p.m. for some Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Until then, have a great week. And Phil, yeah. say goodbye to the people. Pokemon Legends Arceus is really good.